Okay, this is Tom with uh, Super Bee Honey Farms. I'm gonna do a real short video uh, today to kind of. Well, you normally do videos on telling you how to do beekeeping and what to do and uh, the things the way to do it right. This little video is gonna be on uh, what not to do. Uh, beekeeping procrastination and can be your worst enemy, and uh, I got a little experience with that last year and. Uh, if you're a new beekeeper, you know, you're not dealing with it right out front, but at some point in time you're going to have a colony that fails or you know, maybe you caught a swarm that didn't survive or a cutout that didn't pan out. You're going to have, uh, have dead outs that uh, if you don't get to them in a timely fashion, uh, we're going to show you what, what can happen with that. Uh, wax moss will move in or hive beetles and uh, can really make a mess of a hive and this is one that I had had a cut out uh, we did last summer and it didn't pan out and I just said well I'll get to it one day and a month later it was still sitting down in the yard and by the time I finally uh, got into it um, we had quite a bit of damage so I just want to show you some of that and what some of the wax moss can do uh, to uh, terrorize your frames and your uh, drawn cone. Okay, this is a five frame nuke that we had a small cutout that we did in it. And uh, you can kind of see on top, on the top bars, all the black, uh, kind of a web stuff. The black, I think, is uh, actually feces from the wax moth that uh, when they crawl around in there. They have to go to the bathroom and uh, we'll pull a couple of frames and show you kind of the damage they can do. This is a frame that I think was a plastic foundation and the uh, wax moss have cleaned all of the wax that was a was a drawn comb when it was put in here and uh, they have taken it all the way down to the plastic foundation which if you need your uh, foundation cleaned out may not be such a bad thing but their uh, larvae and stuff they make cocoons and they lay their larvae and uh, they will actually eat into the wood frames so you can see there where there's a little bit of damage here I've seen it sometimes on the bottom bars where it will actually almost eat all the way through the the bottom bar where you have cocoons on both sides and this frame's not too bad because it doesn't have a whole bunch of cocoons on it but if that would have been wax foundation there would have probably been a lot more so that's one frame that uh, is ready for reuse we clean it up a little bit let's pull this next one out actually I don't know if you can see it or not But a little bit of comb left on this side, but you can see straight through it where they've just taken out all the center. They eat all your wax up. And this would have been a nice drawn comb if we'd have saved it and done something with it uh, where we could have reused it in another hive later. Here's some more of the larvae cocoons that they, they build on it. If you catch it before it gets too bad, it doesn't do too much damage, but uh, just something that you want to try to stay on top of and not let it get quite so bad and you won't lose your frames and uh, be a little easier to reuse them. Here's another frame that uh, they've taken the uh, foundation and the drawn comb and everything out all the way down to the wires that were left from the uh, wired foundation. So these frames can be cleaned up and reused, but uh, it'd have been a lot better if we could have just reused the comb and saved the bees that much work. And to show you the nitty gritty, this hive has a bunch of mold and uh, just a bunch of scum in the bottom that'll have to be cleaned out before I can reuse it. They'll actually 
build the cocoons onto the side walls and uh, just really make a pretty good mess out of uh, your equipment. So if you uh, stay on top of things and when you have a dead out, uh, pull your equipment and get your frames out, freeze them, bag them, do whatever you need to do to save your drawn comb and protect your equipment a little better. Don't do what I do, do what I say. We're under a tornado warning right now and I get to film the spot the watching is over here. I'm not seeing anything right off hand. We got some pretty good stuff up here too, but that's to our north, so it's usually not an issue. But I am concerned about this over here a little bit. I'm gonna keep an eye on it and see what happens with it. Well the sky got really dark and we did have a tornado warning in the and it, if there had been a tornado, we, it would have been wrapped in rain. I wouldn't have seen it, but I didn't. I, I came back in for a little bit because the storm weakened, and then all of a sudden it got stronger again. So as I'm on the way back out, trying to call the dogs to go with me, I've now discovered that we need new treads on our on our steps of the camper because I fell and I am hurting. <laughs> but we're all safe. The dogs are safe. They're not speaking to me because I kept leaving them all alone. But they wouldn't come with me. So what do you do? But we're safe here. And I see, even see a little bit of sunshine.